Here we look at how to make scatter plot or point plot in Jam. So we're going to use this data called Australian Tourism. And then to load that, if you come to help, and then you come to sample data library, and then just type Australian um, Tourism, you should be able to find the data. And just double click on that, and let's load our table. So here is the data that we want to use. So let's come to graph and then and then graph builder. So under graph builder, we want to plot a scatter plot or a point plot. So let's select that and then we can do something like let's say drag this one to our x axis and then let's say drag here to the y axis. Remember, you can add more axes, you can add a secondary axis and customize your graph. You can look at that on the customizing graph video. So once you're done, you come in here and here you can have um, a summary statistic. So now it's none. So for instance, if you look at this column on 1998, you have four different set of data, but you can use, let's say, a mean. And then it just changes to the mean of that 1998 you have a mean of that and you can also have let's say the max values you can change it and customize it accordingly so because you have it this way if you come into error you can really add an error bar on this distributed data so let's say if we do standard deviation we won't see any error but unless you change this to a mean and then the error bars are plotted accordingly also for you. And then you can change the type of error interval. So you, there are so many of them in here that you can change over here. And then you also have the error style. You can have error bar, error band all in, in this platform for you. And then you also have the Jita. So the Jita adds random noise to values to reduce over plotting. So you can just come in and and then change, let's say this to packed. Um, let's change this back to none. And then you can then change the Jita to, let's say, custom grid, density random. Just, it just tries to add a little bit more data for you. And then you can also change the limit and all of that so let's see if we do positive that you can change the limit and you can have that accordingly next is on this red point if you drop it down you're going to see this like set shape expression and you can do that in here and then also set shape column can also be done in here accordingly the rest is just customizing your graph just right clicking and you can change to points, change all these things that I've already shown in customizing graph area. So you can customize your graph accordingly and add, let's say, multiple axes here. So on the same graph, um, we've done the regular scatter plot and how to add error bars. You can also click on this one here, but because they are all going to be the same 2D scatter plot, you see here that we can also add a smoother so we have like um, a smoother line that we can add to it and on the smoother line we have this part for points and then we have this part for the smoother so here we have the first one is the method which specifies the method used for generating the smoothing fit so this is a spleen you can have a local um, kennel you can have whichever equation they used um, all these moving box and and just change them accordingly then you have the lambda value which enables you to adjust the lambda so you can adjust it in here as well and then the trim is also in here you can trim the the fit line and then you can also add confidence level accordingly for it and just play with that so this this is easy to to do you can also drop this one down and then you have adapt to scale and, and, and save formula and all of that. So next would be linear fit. So if you select linear fit, oh yeah, I see what's happening here. So what's happening here is because you have this data, it's trying to fit that data for you. So we don't have the option to choose the fit. So let's move to 
ellipse and then we'll come back to this one so you can also have an ellipse and you have it here and it's drawn around your data and you can change the coverage you can change the coverage percentage as well and then also add correlation and mean point and just change this accordingly so that can be done very easily